Hi there, Andy Cranston here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Raritan PDU in order to generate a firmware version report of all of your other Raritan PDUs. So I'm logged into my Raritan PDU. Uh, if we just make a note, this particular PDU has a firmware version of 3.6.1.5. Now, if we go to device settings and Lua scripts, I have a Lua script called Lua FW Audit. And if we have a look at that script, at the top I've got a list here of PDU names. There are two special entries, one which tells me the username to use to log into the PDUs as, and the second one is the password. Then we have the names of the PDUs. So we've got a PDU PX2 study and another PDU PX3 rack. Now to get a firmware version report for those two PDUs, I simply need to run the script. So we've got the firmware for PX2 study, that's 3.5.0.5, and for PX3 rack we've got 3.6.1.5. Now notice that when the script is talking to a PDU that is of the same firmware revision, we also get these additional details. We get the name of the PDU as defined on the PDU web interface, the model number of the PDU, and the serial number of the PDU. So let's clear those results. I'm now going to edit the script and we can also let's now show that we can use an IP address save the script and run it now and now we get a firmware report for that IP address we can also specify a range of IP addresses and this is where things start to get uh, very useful because I can use a little symbol there and put in 10. So we're going to look at the IP addresses 10.1.2.0 all the way through to 10.1.2.10 and the intermediate IP addresses there as well. So let's save that and run it. So you can see the idea here that we can actually pan out and uh, encompass a range of IP addresses. It saves us typing in all those IP addresses in individually if we know that we've got a range. Now I just know that actually I've got four subnets completely full of Raritan PDUs. So that's a total of 1,024 Raritan PDUs. Think of if you had to get the firmware version of each of those PDUs individually, logging into each of the web interfaces. It's going to take you a long time, but not with this script. It's just by making that very simple edit, saving and running, the script gets to work and it starts to get all of the firmware versions involved. So it's still running. And we finished with Xcode of zero, which is good, and it's gone right through to the very last. IP address here at 10.1.5.255. Now you've got the report there but what you probably want to do is actually copy that output oh, fiddly to do this so once all that output is highlighted which will be in just a second I'll type control C to copy it and I've already got notepad open here ready and I'll paste the information in there and now we've got all the information in notepad so I can now save that uh, onto my local drive and then uh, as, a, as a CSV file and import it into Excel or some other similar tool and you can start to uh, look at all the firmware revisions for the various PDUs which you've got. So that's how we can use an existing Raritan P existing Raritan PDU on your network to get the firmware versions of all of the other PDUs on, on, on your network. So there's no need to load any uh, any Python scripts or uh, the JSON RPC library onto your laptop or to get hold of a Linux machine or anything like that. You can just do it with just the PDUs, with just the facilities which you have in your data center and nothing more. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to know any more information, please get in touch. Thank you very much.